Good morning, guys. I thought I would bring you along in a day in the life. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. We're getting a later start this morning. It is 9.41, which I usually wake up with Aubrey around nine o'clock. Last night I laid her down close to 10 because she just kept talking my ear off. And I had to go back in there like almost at midnight because she was just still playing in her room. Like she has not been sleeping in her newly constructed bed. She just likes to sleep on the carpet and it's just been an issue. So I got her to sleep back in her bed and she slept there all night. I'm gonna see if she's still actually laying there. But yeah, let's go get her and then we'll try to do some fun stuff today. Did you sleep in your bed? I'm asleep. Let me turn off the fan. Did you sleep in your bed the whole night? Yeah. Good job. I'm so proud of you. What are we going to do today? Mm -mm. Huh? Are we going to see police officers at the park? A police officer is kind of hot. I'm going to show freeze up some milk. Your water I'm, bottle? Yeah, I'm going to show my, my freeze up this. Okay, well, let's make your bed. Remember, we have to clean up. Mm, let's put the blanket a back in. up song. All right, we'll have the Alexa play the cleanup song. <laughs> okay, so we cleaned up, we made the bed, we got her diaper on. Uh, I let her just kind of sleep in regular clothes until they get dirty and then we change them. So these are new from like yesterday afternoon and she's going to keep wearing them. Uh, I'll go fix her hair and we'll go and get some breakfast. Okay, but before we eat breakfast, got to bring our loads of laundry down. <laughs> It was actually really cute. I asked Aubrey to go get me her green hamper and she she knows how to do it. So she's a good little helper. You think puppy needs a bath? No, my puppy is key. Oh, okay. Well, let's get this started then, okay? Okay, mommy. I'm getting out of the door. Okay. All right, Aubrey, you ready to get some breakfast? <laughs> Aubrey, what are you doing? I'm getting a plate for me. You're getting a plate. I love how independent you are. All right, we have to say our prayers and then we can eat our bagel. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Bless us, O Lord. Bless us, Lord. And these thy I, gifts. I don't see. I don't have my drink. <laughs> That's her go-to for getting out of praying. Okay, I will wait. Okay, let's continue praying. Bless us, O Lord, Lord and these thy gifts, of gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, from a bounty through, Christ, through Christ, our Lord. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the and Holy time. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good job. And we're having bagels this morning. That was excellent, girl. Um, this one. Okay. Now don't get a big one. Oh, you want the small one? So that's a big one for me. That is a big one. Okay. Let's eat. Cheers. Um. <laughs> So 
So for those of you guys who are wondering, this little guy we nicknamed Pitter Patter. He's the tickle bug. <laughs> and she now says this is, mine is Mommy Pitter Patter. And where's Baby Pitter Patter? And it's like her imaginary but not imaginary friend because <laughs> she can see little Pitter Patter and she controls Pitter Patter and Pitter Patter hides and climbs the wall and it is actually turning out to be a pretty useful friend that she has. <laughs> well, sometimes we even joke like, oh, Pitter Patter's going to eat your bagel. Oh, no, no, no Pitter Patter. <laughs> and then she'll take like a bite if she hasn't already. That must be a yummy bagel if you're doing a happy dance. <laughs> this is baby Peter Bottom. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? Is that a fire truck in your backpack? Yeah. All right, we ate our bagel. She pretty much ate like an entire half of it. So I'm kind of still hungry, but I'm gonna try to hold out. I am gonna go to the grocery store and pick up some tahine for Juan. He likes eating that on his watermelon and I noticed that he recently ran out. So that's gonna be my nice thing for him today. He didn't ask me to replace it, but I'm gonna go get some for him. And then uh, my friend Sammy is having her second child very soon. Her due date's sometime this month. And um, I want to make something just kind of cute for her daughter, but I don't really know exactly what I want to make. So we're going to go to the Dollar Tree and see if they have something that I can throw together and make that's just kind of cute. Her daughter's theme for like the... Uh, baby shower was kind of like a farmer's market. So I'm gonna try to do something with like flowers and the little wooden baskets if they have it. So hopefully they'll have what I'm envisioning and hopefully it'll turn out okay and we'll make that together today. But let's get Aubrey loaded up in the car and then we're gonna go. Just got done at the Dollar Tree. I didn't film in there because it was pretty hectic for me pushing her around and whatnot. But what did we get at the Dollar Tree? Cheeto. <laughs> She's my little Cheeto lover. I did post that short, so if you guys saw that, it's hilarious. Um, I will make sure to show you guys a haul when I get home, but we're gonna go pick up some McDonald's because I'm, you know, having an unhealthy day today. And then we'll go to the park and play. Is that yummy, Aubrey? What did tell the camera what you got? Chicken. Chicken nuggets. Can you show the camera your stethoscope? Wow. <laughs> so like she was wearing that in the store and every like someone was like, hi doctor. And then someone else pointed out she had her stethoscope on. She loves her stethoscope. Can you say stethoscope? Stethoscope. <laughs> So maybe she'll be a doctor one day. You gonna be a doctor? Mm -hmm. So we're at a park right now that has like a big lake. Well, not like a big lake, but a lake. Um, and a long time ago, my family was here and we actually saw like a little snap turtle, excuse me, like going up away from the lake. And then it was like digging a hole and it ended up laying like tons of eggs. It was the coolest thing to observe. This was before she was born and I don't even know if it was before I met Juan, but yeah, it was like so cool to watch this little turtle like digging and like all the work this mama turtle had to do. It's amazing. I'm kind of intimidated by all the work I'm gonna have to do in a number of months. But this is a pretty relaxing park. They have a nice little playground, some volleyball courts and maybe some basketball courts, but it's essentially like nice and tight and packed, so. I don't know, it's a good park. Do you like this park? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go play on the playground in a little bit. After you finish your chicken nuggets? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that yummy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, well, I'll show you guys some highlights of her playing probably, and then check back in when she's back home napping, and I'll show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. What sound does the ducky make? Ducky. Do you want to pet the ducky? Yeah. Okay, put your drink down and be very gentle on the puppy on the um, ducky's back. Okay. Okay. Pet the ducky on the back. Oh, are you happy? Yeah. Chill. The ducky's scared? Yeah. Why do you think the ducky's scared? Ducky's scared. Ducky's scared. So when we were just at the store, I bought like a little Mio water enhancer and I'm gonna forever carry that in my purse from now on because I just filled her cup up with water here at the park, shot some fruit punch in, zero calories, and she's been drinking a lot more of the liquid. Um, and I just do a little tiny bit. So she's getting her water, but she gets some extra taste as well. Okay, so that was a lot of fun. Um, seeing that little baby duck and being able to pet it was definitely like, I think the highlight. Aubrey was a little apprehensive because there were so many kids in the playground so she really didn't want to like interact with any of them and when she started climbing that little rock wall she got to the top and then I was like holding our cups and like trying to get her to go over and luckily another mom came to the rescue so if you happen to watch this whoever you were thank you so much you were a lifesaver because otherwise I would have like had to drop just all my stuff um it was just like I, she's a better climber, so I was expecting her to just go right over, but she didn't. So yeah, I was grateful to that mom for helping out and stepping in. And then she starts chatting to this little girl who was about her age and being like pointing to me and like, you might, do you know my mom's name? And like, it was just really funny. So we just got home and I'm gonna lay her down, unload my stuff and I might take a nap because I'm feeling a little tired and I'm really trying to listen to my body and rest when I can, especially since I know that in the future it'll be a little bit more difficult for me to just rest whenever I can. So I'll probably, you know, wake up with enough time to still show you guys my little haul and maybe even start on that craft for my friend. So let me go do that and I will check in when I am ready to share all that with you. Okay guys, so... I laid Aubrey down. She was playing for a little while and now she's fallen asleep just outside her door. She's been sleeping on the carpet. It's so weird. But um, I kind of just rested and watched like TikTok videos. And I know I probably should have just went straight and like took a nap, but I did not. And I just kind of felt like 
I have enough energy to show you guys my little haul and maybe begin my little craft. So I'll start by sharing some impulse buys. It's been a long time since I've had airheads. And in my second half of my pregnancy, I'm gonna like extra try hard to like totally cut out sugar and carbs, but I'm not there yet. And I don't know, this looked just kind of yummy. So I'll be enjoying this, you know, one a day, every other day or whatever, before I totally like cut it out. And then I recently got some of these like pop rock, but gum like addition, <laughs> it turns into gum for my niece for her birthday. And she really liked it. And then she also shared with her brother. So I figured I'd get some for my nieces and nephews. But that was the only candy that I bought. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself. And then I will show you guys, I bought a headband or two headbands. One is just kind of like elasticy and it kind of like has like a little tie at the top. It's kind of hard to see because it's black. And then I got one that's like this and I got it because it could be either for me or Aubrey um, with this thing on. It looks probably a little weird, but because I have my hair in buns often, I just kind of feel like I need something a little bit more feminine. Um, so I was, I don't know. I didn't know how it looked like on me and looking at me now, I kind of look a little weird, but I don't know. Aubrey can use this too, just to when she's eating, like get her hair out of her face. So I got two headbands and then I got Aubrey a little notebook. I just tried to pick one that had like the most number of pages because she just likes to scribble, turn the page, scribble and you know get the most for your money rather than a nicer notebook that has like 50 pages so this has 120 sheets and then same with the stickers i tried to get ones that like have over like 150 they have some sticker packs at the dollar tree that have like 50 stickers only so this one you get a lot and she really likes trucks and cars because of Juan, but this one has like police cars and fire trucks and she's really into that. So I just got her one of these little packs. And then I wanted to get her something to color in this book with, and I didn't want it to be like a pen that you can then color on other stuff. And I noticed that they have this 24 pack of colored pencils and colored pencils are a little bit harder to like draw on your blanket or you know it just doesn't like transfer as well so i got her this little pack and then a cute little like tin little pencil case i wanted something that was kind of more sturdy and wasn't like a hard bag to get the zipper undone like i just wanted to have it all be kept together so i may give this to her if we're going out and i just need an activity or i think this will make like a good little I don't know, birthday stuffer present. I We like to just kind of give our kid, but future kids obviously, money for their birthdays and put it in their bank account because they don't really need much to be happy and they get gifts from other people. So this is like a nice, you know, $4 gift that will go a long way. So the other kind of paper products that I got, I've never seen these at the Dollar Tree but they're little like index cards in a little flip book and they're perforated so you can just kind of tear them off. But they also come with three little dividers that you can pop out and organize your little index cards here. So if you wanna do like dinner recipes and you're jotting down ideas or things like that, um, it also has like a little flap on the front page where you can shove an index card there. And so I got one in green and one in blue. Maybe I could just take the dividers out of the green one and also use them in the blue one. And then she can just use the little green book. So the last couple products that I bought were actually for my friend for the craft that I'm gonna make for her daughter. And after getting home, I realized I forgot one thing and I'm hoping I have it in my little Dollar Tree stash, but we'll see. But the first thing is I bought her son a little toy and I bought Aubrey the same one because Aubrey picked the colors. She wanted these little motorbikes, like she's into cars, and so is her little friend. So I bought two little red motorbikes as well as red Model Magic dough. And so we'll see if this is better than like the crafting clay that I got a long time ago. That one was like super crumbly, 
this is Crayola brand, so you probably get, I think, you know, obviously you're getting a little bit less in the package, but hopefully it'll work better. So those two things will be fun for the kiddos to play with if I get together with my friend either before or after she has her baby. It'll be an activity and something for them to play with with each other. And finally, let's talk about my craft. So this was inspired by something I saw on TikTok. I'm not making like the exact replica, but it was definitely inspired by something I saw on TikTok. So Dollar Tree sells these little crates. They are, I don't know if they have the measurements on the back. I don't know, maybe like probably five inches long and about three inches wide and two inches tall. That would be my guesstimate. So they're, they're tiny. But then they also got, I also got one of these wood wreaths and this is the smaller version. They have a larger version. And so I'm anticipating gluing this to the back. So this is the way you guys are seeing it. It will be like the front of the little design and the back, it'll be glued to the back. I'm gonna paint this probably a white color, leave this as is. And then this was a new find. Dollar Tree has these little like wood blocks. And I'm gonna try to find some way to probably suspend this and put her baby's name on it and then I'm going to use this floral foam cut it down so that it fits in here but before I put it in there I'm going to try to use some of this little hay that was from or straw and try to keep it in this shape but like just kind of get all the extra little bits off I might just have to break break it open but I want you know I don't want green to be showing through the lines here so that's why I have the hay I want it to look a little bit more rustic and then I got a bunch of flowers. And so I'm gonna have some flowers sticking out here. And again, I'm gonna try my best to like not cover the name. I might just have to like have this suspended up here. Maybe I'll just end up putting it in the front if, if it doesn't work out, that will be determined. And then I'm gonna have flowers. So sticking out of this little box and then maybe some like kind of on an offset and let me show you what I got. I decided to go with fall flowers because it's still early enough where we're not into fall yet. And she'll probably be taking lots of pictures with her little baby girl. So maybe she'll use this and if not, it's totally fine. But I went with fall colors. So we got like this whole bouquet and there's probably no way I'm gonna use all of them, but I can use some of each and then use Make, maybe make like a duplicate for my baby or, you know, make a little other type of decoration that has a similar design, but for my mom or someone else. I'm gonna try my best. I'm not like a perfect like floral person, but I'm gonna try my best to, you know, make it look pretty and hopefully it will kind of fit the farmer's market feel, but for fall. So those are my plans. I will be posting the tutorial on my crafting channel when I am done completing this. But before I like sit down and really make those decisions, I am going to reach out to my friend, see when she wants to get together because I would love to be able to see her before the baby comes and have the little kids play together and kind of set up a date. And then I will just enjoy a little bit of quiet time before Aubrey wakes up. And then tonight we are going to go to a concert in the park. It's something our city puts on and just have a good time with some of my mom's friends who we meet up with. And Aubrey really enjoyed it last week. So I'll make sure to share some of that with you guys as well. So let me get working on this. And if I get the finished product done, I will let you see it right away. If not, I'll show you my progress before we head to the park. So I should also mention that I wanted to find like these little tiny twinkle lights that come in a little pack from the Dollar Tree to like twine them twine them to wrap them around here and um, have it be like a little lit up thing and that's something that I forgot to look for when I was at the store so hopefully I have some in my stock if not that's something I can definitely throw on last minute if I feel like it needs it so Aubrey had this little sticker that she got the last week that was little sheriff sticker and she wore it every day for a number of days and uh, it like lost its stick. So we were looking forward to getting some more and she was able to talk with some of the police officers here. They gave her three, they turned on the lights for her. She was a little shy, but I'm sure it will be a highlight for her looking back.
So that was a lot of fun. Aubrey seemed to enjoy herself. We saw some more police officers on our walk home in their undercover car and they like lit up their lights and sounded a little like boop boop thing. Like it was a little highlight for Aubrey. So she's outside weeding weeds with my mom because uh, they wanted to do some of that. And once she gets back in, we'll probably take a shower and I'll get her to bed. It's 8.19 right now. She usually goes to bed at nine. I'm hoping that, you know, with the extra energy that she exerted today, she'll go down nice and easy. And then I will actually get crafting. So I did make or start to make some things for my craft. Let me show you what I did. So I gathered my like stain and paint. Still haven't decided what I'm going to do exactly. I think I'm gonna stain this and then put a stencil, which is something I cut out. You can barely see the cuts, but I cut out the baby's name, Emerson. So I think I might put the stencil over the stain and then paint the whole thing white so that the wood stain name will be showing. And then I might stain this as well. So. I think that's how I'm gonna incorporate that. And then I've been working on this faux leather craft. Um, this is from the Dollar Tree. And I will be posting a tutorial on this. Um, I learned like how to braid faux leather. So I have two different braids. This one's a tighter one and this one is a little bit looser. And this will eventually be like a silverware holder, napkin holder thing. So. This will be a design that I will share on my crafting channel as well. But the date is set to meet up with my friend, so I'm excited because it's like I got my deadline, so I gotta get that craft done. And then, I mean, looking forward to finishing crafting, hopefully that tonight, if anything, get like the paint and the stain done and I'll assemble it tomorrow or something. And hopefully I'll get still get to bed early and not get to bed too late. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching this little day in the life. It's actually pretty busy compared to most days. A lot of times we just kind of hang out around the house and yeah, sometimes I watch Survivor with my brother and we just kind of chill. So sounds like they're coming in. I'm gonna go give her a bath. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.